Peace everybody, this is Thomas Amal with another special edition of Conversation Corner. Well today I wanted to talk about something, your vision. What's your vision? Do you have a vision? Is there a vision? What are we talking about when we say vision? What am I talking about when I say vision? What do you think I mean when I say vision? Vision. Vision, not what you perceive, not what you see. I'm talking about vision. What are you thinking about as far as the future? What do you really see as far as your future? And let me go back into my history and give you an idea why I, th I, I understand when we talk about vision. Vision is because I had a vision that I would always be an entrepreneur. I had a vision that I would have my own eatery slash restaurant by the time I was 50 years old. And that's exactly why I went to college. Otherwise, it was just to go, just to go and play ball. But I went because I wanted to get the business knowledge. I wanted to get the information on what it would take to start my own eatery. And I'm still on process to do that. I'm still in the midst of doing that. I still have that entrepreneur mindset. I knew at a very young age that I would be, I would be want or I would want to do my own thing. That was my vision, was to be my own person, to be my own person. So I ask you, what's your vision? Do you need time to think about it? What do you really want to do with your life? First of all, I have to commend you. And this is why I'm here as life's liaison is I want to be able to be that one. And I am that one that can just say a couple of things to you to make you think just differently. No way I'm telling you if I'm right or wrong or if you're right or wrong. It's just to have a conversation. Just to be able to get into your inner thoughts and figure out what do you really want. And what it does is not only does it help you, it helps me. So I'm being a little selfish with this when I say I'm life's liaison because I've figured out a way to not only help people, but understand that in the midst of me helping other people through conversation, through thought, it also helps me. So I ask again, what's your vision? What are you thinking about? What do you really, really want as far as your future? Let's live in the now. But at the same time, let's think about what's going on and what we really want to get ourselves and where we want to be in a certain point in time. I know everybody's had a conversation or been in an interview when they say, what do you think you'll be doing in five years from now? Some people will be like, I oh. don't Or they'll give that standard answer. I, I intend on growing and being on another level in whatever company I have, up, up growth and things like that, have five houses and blah, blah, blah. But let's be real about it. Reality. What's your vision? First of all, let me commend you. Or second of all, let me commend you for at least taking the opportunity not only to listen to the video, but being having the, um, the ability to take that next step. Taking that next step, personal development, showing and wanting to have some growth. Now it's time to put work into it. Like we say, just do it. Do it. So I give you credit for that. I give you a lot of credit for that because that's a step that most people won't take. Good luck in everything that you do. And luck is not, and, and I don't say it in a sense that luck is what everything is based on. Because I, I'm not one of those who say luck, the, I'm lucky here, I'm lucky there. I feel as though with the law of attraction, you know, with hard work to a certain extent, or working smart with perfect um, practice, that you can obtain and having a definiteness of purpose and a will and a want and a desire to get whatever you want, that'll get you to that place to where you want to be at. So what's your vision, I ask you again? Hit me up, Facebook, Twitter. I might even give you my phone number. You can always go to my website, thomasamall.com. Remember, think first, be smart. Be smart, think first.